This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is one of the most surprisingly tricky locks that I've seen from Kryptonite in a while. This is the TKO Mini U Lock, and it is thoroughly unimpressive, though I suppose that's to be expected because it's also a very cheap lock. We have a shackle that is under half an inch thick, and it's of the club foot design, which means it only secures into the base on one side. Then we have a core, which appears to have been inserted from the bottom during the manufacturing process, which probably means that it can be destructively removed either with a core puller or a slide hammer. The core is also only six discs, and even on the very cheapest of disc detainer locks, you'll usually find at least seven or eight discs. But there is something about this core which I like very much. To understand why this lock caught my attention, you need to understand a few things about disc detainer cores in general. Now, most of these locks either tension from a front or back disc, oftentimes both. The reason for this is by putting zero cut discs in the front and back positions, the maker can ensure that the sidebar doesn't become angled to the axis of the lock and jam the core. This is particularly important on the cheaper locks, which have discs that may not be perfectly smooth on the edges. Now, on some of the higher end locks, like the newer variant of the Abus Plus, you'll find that they tension from a random middle disc. This makes picking difficult for at least two reasons. First, you don't know which disc tensions the lock, and second, you can't use a normal front or rear tensioning tool. You need a tool with a tensioning tip in the middle and picking tips both above and below it. Unfortunately, these tools are very uncommon. I know of only one person in the world who makes them for sale, and that's Matt Smith in the UK. He's a locksmith and a very talented tool maker. And as is usually the case with handmade precision machine tools, it is very expensive. So I don't have one of these tools, so how are we going to pick this lock? Well, Kryptonite missed a trick when they designed it. Normally when you tension from a middle disc, you want to make the front and back discs ever so slightly larger to prevent what I'm about to do. I'm going to use a normal tool to tension from the front disc. That will get all the discs behind it to bind, after which I can set them and also identify the zero cut disc that tensions the lock. After I do that, I can use the picking tip to tension the zero cut disc that I previously identified while setting the top disc with the tensioning head. It's simple in theory, but also very tricky to implement. In fact, I'd consider it a fairly advanced skill. So let's see if I am up to the task. We're gonna rotate all those discs as far clockwise as they will go. And I'm going to insert this tool trying to pick up only the first disc. Okay, I think I have that first disc. So let's try to find the second. The second disc is binding. Got to click there. Third disc is not binding. Let's leave him alone. Fourth disc feels set. That's probably our zero cut. Fifth disc is binding. Got to click out of him. Six disc. That one is also binding. There we go, got number six set. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh-oh, I lost my tension. Let's see if I can get that back in. Okay, two feels set. Three, I think three is set. Four feels set. So does five. And so does six. Okay, so let's try to find four again. Put some tension on him. While we're counter rotating the first disc. And something went wrong there, so let me make sure we have all of our discs in the proper position before trying that again. 
Okay, three was out of position. Got him reset. Four is fine. Five and six. Okay, let's find four again and attempt that tricky maneuver one more time. There we go. So as you can see, this is a relatively tricky lock to pick, even though it is also a very cheap one. I'm pretty impressed with the change that Kryptonite made to that core. There's still a lot of room for improvement. They could put false gates in there, and they could also fix the front and back discs as I previously described. As for the rest of the lock, I don't think it's salvageable, but maybe we can look forward to this core in some of Kryptonite's better offerings. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.